Now, I read to you the scripture in Isaiah chapter 63, verses 1 through 6, and also verses 18 and 19 yesterday. Okay? So, I'm not going to reread them today, but that is the setting for this blog for the next ever how long it takes. That's a wonderful thing about a blog. You don't worry about the time. You don't worry about a sequence. You just go. We all have a good time. And so in our scripture, we saw this figure uh, coming, this enigmatic, strange, powerful man that is approaching. And the scene is that of a watchman that sees him coming. The watchman on the wall sees him coming out of the fog. When he sees him, he's this powerful figure. And he's got his weapon in his hand. And his garments are dripping red. And he looks fierce. Well, fierce. And the watchman says, who are you? And he sees that this man is very angry and that he has a pent-up fury and that he's like a one-man wrecking crew. He's a warrior. Not just a warrior, but a swashbuckling, daring do warrior that is courageous and fearless and takes great risks and involves himself only in great, the greatest of causes and is a deliverer. And the story is better than the best fiction ever written. And the story is, is about this one who is a victor and how he became the victor and how he won and what all of this means to you and I. So there's a lot of questions here. Who is this? Uh, it says he's coming from Bozrah. What is Bozrah? And from Edom, what is the significance of Edom? And why is he so angry? And what does all that mean to me? And if you're a man, this is a man here. So he becomes, in some ways, he, there's other pictures of him too, but in this he becomes a model of what a man ought to be when the time calls for his best and it requires the ultimate of courage for a man to step out and be a man, then here's the model of what a man ought to look like. So, the story here is that this man is part of a family. And it is a family that the father, which is God, gave his children land, a land to live in. But the scripture says, the people of thy holiness possessed it but a little while. That's one of the scriptures I read. So the people of God's holiness possessed the land but a little while. And then he said, our adversaries have trodden down the sanctuary. So get the picture. God as a people that he gave land. Now the land, they only had it a little while, and the land is lost and the enemy has trodden down the sanctuary. And then here's the lament of the people. But we are thine. Thou never bearest rule over these people that have defeated us. They were not called by thy name. And so the people, there is a, 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 a question in their mind, and they're confused, and they want to know. That's part of the setting of this story about this man coming out of the fog, arrayed for battle. Aha, you don't want to miss Monday, I'll see you Monday morning.